Hi everyone, this is the low cell display controller model DY-CHV. In this video, we're going to show you how to calibrate it using an associated low cell. This one is in large size, and the other is in small size. First up, let's have a look at the wiring diagram, which is generally labeled on the top. As shown on the diagram, we have input terminals number 13 and 14, and excitation supply terminals number 15 and 16 right here. If you don't know, the input is to be connected to the signal wires of the low cell with green wire to the positive and white to the negative, while excitation terminals, as the name suggests, are going to connect up to the excitation wires of the cell with red lead to the positive and black lead to the negative. Terminals 23 and 24 are to conduct 220 volt AC power source. The low cell we have here is rated at 10 kg in capacity, and let's change the unit into gram. First off, long press the first button to the left to enter the settings. Push the first button quickly to locate option OA. Select it by pushing the second button. Now, you're going to enter the password, which is 4 ones. Push the up arrow button to turn 0 into 1, and push the left arrow button to alter the digit. Press the dot button quickly, and that's going to save the setting. Then, long press that button again to go into another parameter setting menu, and hit the dot button until you find the parameter F-, and press the second button to enter the setting. As you can see, the current capacity rating displays 8000 grams. However, our load cell is rated at 10,000 grams. Therefore, we're going to adjust it accordingly. And for sure, this load cell indicator can also accommodate other capacity ratings. Other adjustments can be made as required. When you are done with that, you hit the dot button to save the setting. There's a little LED light that indicates the current weight unit you've selected. It stops at kilogram right now, and we're going to change it into gram. We're going to push the first button real quick to switch over to option UN, which stands for unit, and push the second button to go into the setting. In here, different codes represent different units. Zero represents ton, one means kilogram, and two refers to gram. So let's change the last digit into two. Save it by pressing the first button. Then long press the first button to exit. Now it's time for us to verify. Let's load the low cell with a 500 gram weight placed on the gauge area. The display reads 378. That's inaccurate. That means we need to determine the appropriate compensation factor for the specific low cell. We're going to divide the rated capacity 500 grams by the result 378 to get a compensation factor. Long press the first button to find option F2 for factor setting. And in this process, we first come across option OA. This is where we've just entered the password. At this point, long press the first button once again to locate option F2 for modifying the compensation factor. Select it by pressing the second button. It shows 0 0.9587 for now. We need to multiply it by the calculated result. And we've got 1.2681. That's the exact value we're going to enter into the factor setting. You could revise the number up and downward by pressing the last two arrow buttons. Pressing the second button changes the digit. As always, hit the first button to save the modification and long press it to exit. Now you can see that the indicator gives us the exact reading of the 500 gram weight. Let's do another verification. Long press the last button to return to zero, place a 100 gram weight on the low cell, and the measured result is 100 grams, clear and correct. That's all for the calibration.